This is Countdown to Economic Collapse, October 9th, 2011. I'm David John Sponheim for America's Third Party, and I am real. I am the person trying to become President of the United States at a time when our nation, our supposedly free nation, is charging for admission. Because I don't have a lot of money, because my backers are you, the American people, I am struggling to get mass media exposure, and it is not going very well. My biggest problem is the huge barrier that the powerful elitists have constructed, the two-party system has constructed, to preventing a third party from actually being heard. Now, in the world today, there are some things that need correction. Our foreign policy has become a quagmire. Barack Obama has left it in shambles. The problem in Egypt is intensifying. The fact that he did not support Mubarak is a huge detriment to his administration. And we are now dealing with riots in Cairo. The police are struggling to contain the population. The protests continue. And there's word from the UK that they are hearing that Afghanistan people are starting to turn on Hamid Karzai. There's a huge protest that's running through the Middle East and it was all caused by Barack Obama's inability to support the infrastructure and our allies in that region. Now, we are going to rebuild. We're not going to let this continue to fall into the fray of mobocracy. We are going to shore up the very nature of our foreign policy by getting a new voice in American politics. When I win President 2013, I will start this entire process of telling all of our allies and our enemies that our policies have been too much intervention in their world. We cannot step on their boundaries and expect them to respect ours. So we will have a new face on our foreign policy and diplomacy. And the beginning of detente will start again. We'll begin working out the details of non-proliferation with many people, including Iran and North Korea. The whole purpose of a new beginning is we can then shed light on what we're really all about here on this planet. The environment is in in a bad strait. We have a serious problem with various elements within our entire nation's industrial military complex that need to be put in check, and I will do that. Certain companies that have recklessly produced ordnance and munitions and then incited wars in order to use that ordnance and munition, they will be told that war will become obsolete under my presidency. That we'll begin to slow down our intervention in these countries and shore up our infrastructure and not necessarily turn away from our allies, but we certainly will not spend a huge amount of money. The kind of money that Barack Obama is spending is atrocious. It's killing our nation's budget. We are now facing huge deficits that the two-party system cannot possibly solve. So as your third party president, I'll begin to cut waste in the military industrial complex and within our own government spending programs like Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security. We will find areas where people are ripping us off and we will target those areas. Our entire federal workforce will be smaller in some ways but larger in others. We're going to cut the salaries of big, big employees at the top and we're going to add more jobs at the bottom, thereby stimulating the amount of jobs, employment in our country, and we're also going to be creating housing with existing housing that currently exists with our homestead renewal plan, renovating homes that will definitely provide long-term shelter for people in need. Now, the idea of getting costs down, individual costs, is central to a stable and sane economic plan for this country. So what we will do is target the area that is most in need. Lower taxes, lower the cost of homes, increase disposable income, and give people an opportunity to create a product or something that we can export. Now the world is looking for environmental solutions, clean and green technology, and we can do that. But we can't allow unscrupulous, greedy venture capitalists to stand in the way. So expect reforms in patent law when I'm your president. Making sure that patents are not suppressed and will open the doorway to people actually building products that can save us energy. And the concept of free energy is very real. And that we will embrace at America's Third Party. We will bring on lower cost energy for you, incentivizing the purchase of an electric car or a hybrid electric car. And our future will become cleaner and leaner. And we will begin to get this country solvent again. Now, the economic situation at Wall Street 
is certainly not going to change because of a bunch of protesters. And many of these people are extremists. They're on the left and the right. What we need is sound administrative leadership from the presidency. The SEC must step in and limit futures and options trading. This concept has destabilized our stock market and given people reckless profits that they run to the bank with and then send their money offshore to the Cayman Islands. We don't want that. So the SEC can control and limit the amount of reckless spending investments that are destabilizing our economy. Now, the protests may actually be hyped in the news, and I believe what, what is behind this is a very secret, a secret elitist group that is funding these operations. We know that ACORN got the Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street group together and actually funded a, a little bit of the startup activity. We know that Adblocker, George Soros, and a few others have actually put together a plan to stimulate the Wall Street protests so that violence occurs. I do not in any way think that this is the real sentiment of the American people. And I believe that people like Ron Paul are equally dangerous to our nation's future. They are proposing to change the nature of our currency, which will completely undermine the confidence of the American people in, the, in their own cash, in their wallet. And ultimately, his plan to create a gold standard is absurd. There has been so much money printed under the Federal Reserve that if we go back to the gold standard right now, we will end up getting pennies on our dollar in trade for some coin that he fictitiously believes will solve our problems. I think he is simply doing this because it's his last ditch attempt to get notoriety. He is not a clear vision for the future. He will destabilize our currency and send us into a number of problems that he will not be able to handle, being his, his age and, of course, his ties to big money. He is a multimillionaire. Don't forget that. And when you look at the future of this country, it's not going to be predicated on the work of millionaires. It's going to be built with the toil and the, and the sweat of the American people. Millionaires are not going to be part of my administration. I will be working with and for the American people, and we will do this. We will get our country back on track. We will build the jobs. We will create innovations. And yes, the government is responsible for creating jobs, and I will lead in that direction. The innovations that we're proposing at AmericasThirdParty.com are rather revolutionary. All of the ideas are original, and they will build the very engine of our economy and get us back on track. I believe that the future is actually bright for our country, that we will pull through the 2012 era, and we will come out shining, brighter than that we ever, ever have been. And this goal is not just a promise. This is built and predicated on ideas that I have formulated over the past 30 years that will, if implemented, begin to show the American people an immediate return on investment. So get behind this plan, join America's third party, and realize that the future is not as bleak as the media paints it out to be. And you can become active in your own home without going to the streets and recklessly going with extremists and complaining about things. Of course we need to end the Fed. Of course we need to get accountability in Washington. Of course we need to get the federal government out of our lives. These messages are echoed by extremists on the left and the right. Well, we are moderates, right in the center of the political spectrum, and I believe we are the silent majority. And I believe I'm speaking to the people in this country who don't want to go run into the streets and, and riot. They just simply want a smooth transition for their economy and a way out. And I will articulate that plan, and I will give it to you. Let's end the Fed. Let's end the two-party system, and let's build America and get our country back. We're not Republicans. We're not Democrats. We're Americans. And we're fed up with the two-party system. Check us out at AmericasThirdParty.com.